Hey guys, welcome back to the His Words Inspired channel. I am super excited to have you guys here today because I am going to be telling my testimony. <laughs> so let's get to it. first um, I grew up a cradle Catholic which basically just means I was raised up in the Catholic faith um, I received all my sacraments I went to mass pretty regularly on Sundays with my family something that you guys absolutely 110% need to know about me is that I am a major perfectionist um, I have been ever since I was a child I very much placed my worth in my accomplishments whether or not I got straight A's in school, succeeded in my extracurriculars, my friendships. Not saying that those are bad things, those can absolutely be great things, but my worth was placed on whether or not I could perform well for other people. And so I very much viewed my faith in the same way, was like, God's going to love me if I do this right and I make the right choices in life and I never mess up and I never fail um, rather than knowing his unconditional love. So when I came to college at Texas State I very much still carried this mindset, um, this perfectionistic attitude and viewed my relationship with God as a kind of to-do list where I could check off all of the things that would make me this good Catholic girl. Um, and good in the eyes of God. I actually got into this relationship that ended up being very unhealthy for me and I through that too I also placed my worth and my identity in that relationship. I found a beautiful community within Our Lady of Wisdom which is our university parish here at Texas State. A community who really wanted to get to know me personally was something I've never had before. I got very involved in the FOCUS ministry, which by the way, FOCUS is Fellowship of Catholic University students. They're incredible. They have missionaries on university campuses all over the country and their job is really just to share the gospel and love people for where they're at. The FOCUS missionaries my freshman year convinced me to go on Focus's annual winter conference called SEEK. That year it was SEEK 2019. It was probably the best decision I have ever made in my entire life. I learned for the first time in my life about my identity as a beloved daughter of God um, and just how much Jesus loves me despite all of my failings and my mistakes. I learned what a virtuous Christ-centered relationship actually looks like and the Lord revealed to me just how unhealthy that relationship that I was in was for me and I realized that God was calling me to be more than the person that I had become when I was in the relationship and I realized that I had been living in a life of complacency with the Lord instead of actively trying to get to know him and love him every single day. Coming back from the seat conference, the Lord gave me the courage and the strength to break off that relationship that I was in. And I went through a very difficult time. But I think I, I was in such a low place at that time that I really was able to let the Lord into my heart for the first time in my life. I was able to be vulnerable with Him. And though it was extremely hard, I let Him into those places of shame and those places of hurt and pain. Um, how I'd been hurt in the relationship in the past, how I had tried to live up to this unrealistic expectation for myself all my life. 
coming to terms with my mental health and, and all of that. It was just a lot, but I let him in to all of it and it was tough and it was scary because, you know, that fear of rejection, but he opened his arms and embraced me and he loved me and I started going to prayer every day. I went to daily mass as much as I could. I got very involved in the focus ministry and he just showered me with love during that time. I was at my worst and I felt so broken and my heart was just in pieces and and my heart was made so much fuller and my life was made so much fuller than it had been before. He was there ready to comfort me when I needed a good cry or when I was just getting overwhelmed as the days would go by, I started turning to him every second that I could get because he, I came to realize, was my one biggest place of peace that my heart could rest in. Despite feeling like I had failed him through this relationship and through all of these things that were going on, he affirmed me in his love for me. And in my worth as his beloved daughter, by showering me with so much love, he gave me the best community and support system during this difficult time for me. I developed deeper friendships with my two roommates, Jenna and Lauren, with my best friend, Emily, with <laughs> our two wonderful guy friends, Ryan and Jason, developing a relationship with Alina Sophia, and they have all been gifts from the Lord to me in my life. He put Rose Peretta in my life. Rose was a focus missionary at Texas State for one semester. That spring semester of my freshman year, she taught me how to build my own personal relationship with God through one-on-one -on -one investment in me. I fell in love with Jesus in all of who he is. And I now know that I don't have to prove myself or earn his love in any way. I don't need to be perfect because only Jesus is perfect and perfection is just unattainable. And that's the reality for all of you perfectionists out there or anyone who thinks that you need to earn the Lord's love. No, it is a free gift. He loves us just because we are his, because we are his creation. And he loves us with a love that is incomprehensible. Something from Seek that really stood out to me um, from a talk that Sarah Swafford gave was she mentioned a quote from Pope John Paul II saying, we are so loved by the Lord, so much that, and this is the quote, we are not the sum of our weaknesses and failures, but we are the sum of the Father's love for us and our real capacity to become the image of his son Jesus. And I try to remember that. <laughs> Every time I start to feel like I've failed, but it's really just an opportunity to grow. And the Lord loves us for where we're at and for who we are. Imperfect human beings who are perfectly loved by God the Father. So, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, so, I'm going to put the focus org link in the description below so you can see if focus is on your campus and how you can get involved in that ministry i totally recommend it i love the focus missionaries they're incredible i will also put the link to the sarah swafford video i watched i listened to at seek 2019 it is a youtube video and it's incredible i think every woman should listen to it it's it's very beautiful so i will put that link in the description below Feel free to reach out to Emily and I through our social media accounts, which we will have linked down below, or by commenting on this video. Remember that this is all for the glory of God, guys. Peace.